I mean, could this be any cuter? Look at me! I'm Chandler! Could I be wearing any more clothes? Hello friends and welcome back to Vlogmas Day, whatever it says in the title, and right here, 8, 9, 10, I don't know, I'm pre-recording this over the weekend so I have content to go up every day for Vlogmas because that's what I committed to because I'm a crazy person. My name's Veronica, I'm a part-time reseller and I enjoy thrifting and sourcing and buying clothing primarily and shoes for as cheap as possible and sell them on platforms such as Poshmark, eBay, Macari. I also send items to ThreadUp and the Real Real with the goal of keeping items out of landfills but also making some money to support myself and my family. So if you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, this is a follow-up video to the Thrift With Me at the Bins vlog video that you saw either yesterday or the day before. Again, pre-filming. Not sure what's happening this coming week, but um, today we're gonna have the haul portion of that particular Thrift With Me, and I'm actually wearing one of the items, two of the items actually, that I found at the Bins on that particular day. This one haven't decided if it's going to be up for sale yet or not, but it's a Jane and Delancey, Delancey or Delaney, I can never remember, but a Jane and Delancey or Delaney, a uh, little blouse, very lightweight, but very cute. And it has a bee print all over and it's so cute. It couldn't be any more adorable. <laughs> Uh, I'm also wearing, and you can't really see this, but I'm also wearing a super cute pair of Old Navy linen pants in this mustardy color. Um, yeah, linen. Linen blend by Old Navy. Who knew? I pulled these out and they just look like great, lightweight, comfy pants. I don't know if I'm actually going to go outside in those. I do like that mustard yellow color, but I don't know if I'm comfortable enough uh, leaving the house in it. I'm very much a black and gray and dark blue jeans and pants type of person, but hey, it goes almost perfectly with the B top. So I'm kind of digging this look, not gonna lie. Anyway, and they have pockets too. So let's get started here. I'm gonna adjust this camera very professionally. And yeah, let's check out what I got from the bins yesterday. So I think I mentioned this in the car, if that footage is usable. <laughs> uh, I did spend only $32 or like 31 and some change which is one of the lowest amount I've ever spent at the bins. Very surprising, but I I don't want to say that I struck out completely, but I was getting very tired very quickly. I wasn't really finding anything great. It was very busy. And yeah, I mean, I probably could have found and picked up more if I had gone through every single clothing bin and dug through all of the piles, but there's just so, so much at my bins location. It's insanity. And it doesn't rotate. The clothing doesn't rotate. So you kind of, you get there and then you're just left to your own devices and you can dig through, I don't know how many actual bins of clothing, but a lot. I counted them before. I forgot how many there are, but I want to say like 20 something. <laughs> the location is freaking huge and they just kind of expanded the area where they put out clothing and have less hard goods, I guess. So in a way that's good for me, but also <laughs> that makes it really hard to tackle. And I was there for about three hours and yeah, I could have gone around one more time, but I was getting really tired. I hadn't slept much the night before either. And it's just been a lot. So yeah, I got some good stuff. And the good thing about only spending $32 is that I'm very confident I will make my money back just by selling maybe two items, maybe even just one. So there's some good stuff in here, but lots of bread and butter. Also some items for my kiddo. And as you've seen for myself, I might actually sell these old navy pants at some point, but for now I'm just gonna wear them and look cute in my uh, mustache mustard yellow pants. Speaking of mustard yellow, I found this pair, and this is exciting because it's only the second time I'm finding this brand, uh, even though some people say it doesn't sell well anymore, but I'm still excited to have found it twice now and the first time at the bins. Uh, it's a pair of Current Elliot mustard yellow corduroy pants, very cute for fall. I mean, it's December as I'm filming this. These are a tapered skinny leg, I would say. Um, I'm pretty sure they have a style name somewhere. Yeah, the skinny marigold. So that's the color. 
Uh, very, very cute. Great condition. I mean, I was just very excited to find these. Don't know why they wouldn't sell. Uh, I've sold pants like that before. Again, corduroy pants in that same color by, I don't know, Fashion Nova and such. And they would sell really fast in the late summer, um, early fall. I don't know how fast they're going to move now, but I just really like that color. And, and in combination, not that you would wear them at the same time, or the same person would wear them, but just you know, look at these colors together. It's just so pretty. I like fall colors. Uh, these are a pair of kind of like a paperback waist, um, capri culotte, wide leg pants by Shein, Shein Curve. And I know what you're going to say, Shein, fast fashion. What are you doing, Veronica? This is a 4XL. Oh, okay. First of all, and if it's a 4XL and it's cute, it doesn't pretty much doesn't matter to me what brand it is. I'll pick it up. Um, Shein, I do pick up occasionally from the bins because especially in the plus sizes, it does sell. It doesn't sell for much, but you know, we'll give it a try. Um, these are 100% cotton and they actually feel very similar to these Old Navy pants that I'm wearing that are a linen and cotton blend. Um, the problem with these is that they're missing the belt. And here's the thing. I saw a belt in the bins that was this exact same color and I was thinking like, oh, I wish I could find the item that that goes with because I'm really drawn to this like rusty orange color for some reason. I wouldn't wear it myself, but I like it. But I didn't put two and two together. I don't know if I found the belt first and then picked these up. It doesn't matter. I don't have the belt. I think they'll still sell because they're not obvi like very obviously paperback waist. You could wear them without the belt. But I will disclose it because, you know, I'm fairly certain that that was the belt that went with these. Okay, these are a pair of Eileen Fisher. You may have seen them in the thrift with me. Um, they're not linen or anything. I think they're just like a viscose rayon blend. And it's kind of like a gray greenish color like olive green grayish i'm actually not sure uh i don't know they're very lightweight very oversized log and looky pants they're size medium but i would say they could probably fit up to an extra large they did have some stains when i pulled them out but i was motivated enough to try and wash these um and stain treat them because eileen fisher pants even those basic pants they kind of they can do really well um i've sold a similar pair on ebay for like 40 bucks so I don't expect that much for these, but yeah, either way. Again, look at this color combination. I should pose for the thumbnail. Anyway, okay, non-clothing item, but still a soft good. And uh, let's see how much of that I can actually get in the frame. Okay, so if you want to uh, sleep with the dudes from Supernatural, here you go. One time offer. You too can, you know what, never mind. Uh, it says Supernatural, what does it say at the bottom? join the hunt i never really watched supernatural i started it once and it wasn't my thing don't come for me might try it again but it's a nice little soft blanket so if you need their faces um on you i guess you can do that <laughs> It's in really great condition, no flaws. I washed pretty much everything that was in here. I mean, the CareTech is super washed out, um, but you can still see that it is, you know, branded, Supernatural, Warner Brothers, whatever, 100% polyester. So I think that'll do well. And it doesn't take up too much space. Um, otherwise I wouldn't have picked it up because I don't need items that take up a ton of space right now. And I also picked up this Vineyard Vines. Where's the front? Extra large t-shirt has the whale on the front uh, pocket tee and then it also has it on the back and I don't pick up all vineyard vines there was a pair of like white denim pants that I didn't pick up because the pants don't sell for me the shorts do okay usually so I did pick that up obviously this one I'm pretty sure somebody cropped themselves but it doesn't really matter it is a branded Wu-Tang size medium it also has the Wu-Tang logo and writing on the chest and on the sleeves. So pretty cool little long sleeve crop top. Don't know if the girlies today still listen to Wu-Tang. I know Forever 21 had a whole like line almost with the Wu-Tang print. I actually have one of their shirts in my closet as well. Um, this is not Forever 21, so I don't know if it's going to work in its favor in, yeah, or not, but we'll find out. Um, I did pick up a, not a Christmas sweater, but sweatshirt. I saw this and I was like, ah, oh, it's probably going to be one of those Walmart holiday time, whatever, uh, type of brands, but it's actually Simply Southern, if you can see that down here. 
also see it here, which is not a brand that retails high, but it does have a following, especially in the South. Uh, this is a size small. And then aside from Santa with his leopard print head, it also, what does it even say? Oh, does it say fa -la, la 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 Oh my god, this is so corny, but funny at the same time. Again, okay, this is definitely gonna sell if I get it listed really quickly. Okay, so it says fa -la, 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 la Please hold. I mean, you know how it continues, but okay. La 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 la. On the sleeves. Didn't even realize that. I just saw that it said something on the sleeves, and I assumed it said Simply Southern in that uh, leopard print. But that's even better. Okay, a couple of items for my kiddo. This he is going to have to grow into. It's a Gap Kids little pair of shorts with sharks on it. Already showed it to him. It's too big for now. Also, it's December, so he's not going to need that. And then another pair that would fit him now and hopefully will still fit him next summer. Little black shorts. What is this? This is just 365 kids. It's not, I mean, it's not super exciting. It's not for reselling. At some point, I will probably lot up all of his clothes um, in a specific size and sell those together. I've already done that with his baby clothing. Uh, but yeah, for now, that's going to be for him. This, I don't know if we're going to get any use out of it, but if we don't, we can sell it as well. It's a Columbia reversible vest. I think it's an extra, extra small. Yes, four to five years old. We tried it on. It does fit him. Again, I don't know if he's going to get any use out of it. Um, the tag, I guess, can come out off it's on the inside that's a little bit softer so it's probably we would probably wear this on the inside and this on the outside if i have them wear it see if not i will either list it or send it to the real real <laughs> probably not send it to the real real i think i can it can do better on its own if i list it okay this was kind of sort of new with tags but not really it had a sticker on it but it had some stains so i washed it and because it didn't have any actual tags i figured nah it's fine it's spanx and it's also reversible so it's the red hot line. Do not mind my messy nails right now. I need to redo them. Um, but it's white on one side, just a little shape wear top and like a cream color on the other side that's getting totally washed out. So yeah, you can kind of see it here. So that's an extra large, which is also good size to pick up for shapewear, especially Spanx. It still has a little blemish, but it's gonna be fine. Super soft, I really like it. Uh, if this doesn't sell, I'll just, you know, wear it. I don't, it doesn't really feel like it's going to do a lot of shaping, but whatever. Um, comps for this are all over the place, but I can probably get at least 15 bucks for it. Okay, another item I need to list quickly. I don't know anything about this brand. It was just one of those items that I couldn't resist. The brand is Tipsy Elves. This is a junior's item, a youth extra large, and it is a reindeer hooded full body onesie no butt flap but has pockets with zippers so it feels like decent quality for you know a full body onesie adult pajama well not adult youth pajama thing so yeah it's a youth extra large it looks about to be i don't know an adult medium i would say if that so if you're interested happy to send you uh, pictures and measurements Okay, uh, this is a Black Panther 2XL shirt. Yeah, it's Marvel branded. So we'll see. It looks a little like, not that it shrunk, but it looks short and boxy, which is surprising to me because normally extra large is, or 2XL, it's a little bit longer rather than, as, I mean, it's wide too, obviously it's a 2XL, but I don't know, who knows. Okay, this thing I should have put on a mannequin because it's gonna be really hard to show. So use all of your imagination, please. Um, well, maybe not too much. Um, it's just Forever 21 Plus, but Forever 21 Plus can do okay with the right item. And this, ladies, <laughs> Okay, it, it's gonna look like crap holding it up, but it's like a body suit, kind of like a monokini. But it's, I don't think this is swimwear. I think this is, you know, for the bedroom, probably. <laughs> so, oh my God, I never know how to show these things without my mannequin. I mean, could you imagine just putting that on a hanger? You could not tell what's going on at all. So this is the bottom. It has these like mesh inserts. And then this is the top, but it's connected. So, yeah, 
<laughs> I don't know. It's a size 1X and again, it's Forever 21 Plus. Uh, yeah, pick that up because it's super lightweight and it's probably gonna sell. All right, what else do we got in here? I'm fading fast today. I'm getting real tired and I'm trying not to be super slow with this. I got another Shein, but again, it's a 3XL and it's a good little stable shirt. You can't really tell that it's Shein. It's just, it's cute. It has a keel in the front. It has these little almost crochet lacy sleeves, lightweight. And like I said, it wasn't the greatest thins day. So we take what we can get. Uh, this one, the brand sounded familiar, but I couldn't, I couldn't place it. And I, I, f I thought for a second, maybe it's Anthropology, but the RN number didn't match. However, it is actually sold at Anthropology, and it is Isabella Sinclair, size extra small. It's kind of like a shirt dress, and it has pockets, and the pockets are currently out, so I need to stuff those back in. But it's a shirt dress. It's kind of hard to see. I can insert some pictures. I did find the stock photo and some listings and sold on Poshmark, comms are kind of all over. It's supposed to have a slip dress with it that uh, is attached, but mine doesn't have it. It's probably somewhere in the bins. <laughs> oh no, there's a stain and I washed it. God damn it, okay. <sighs> Gonna have to stain treat that again because white items, yeah. All right, okay, we can get that out though. So anyway, I'm gonna stain treat that and give it another whirl. Um, comms are kind of like in the 20 to $30 range. I guess it doesn't really make a difference whether you have the slip or not. I will say the listings that didn't have it also didn't mention it. Since I already know it's supposed to come with a slip dress, I will mention it, so we'll see. Uh, let's take a break from clothing for a second. I'll show you some hard goods. One is for personal use and one is for reselling. So the first one is this Bath & Body Works wallflower and i picked this up because jen dollar dr jennifer was talking about selling one of these recently for a pretty good amount uh, i think she found a really rare one and then a not so rare one but that still does well so i figured also seasonal should be easy to list i'll see if i can find the exact name it did have the little glass scent scented thingy in there uh, I took that out because I didn't want to pay for it because this does get weighed. Uh, it's probably only a difference of a few cents and it does have a strong, like very strong cinnamon scent. So I will definitely disclose that it still has a little bit of that leftover scent. You can definitely tell that it's been used, but you just replace the thing with whatever, whatever scent. Fragrance is the word I'm looking for. Fragrance you desire and you're good to go. Okay, this you may have seen me look at in the Thrift With Me portion for quite some time because I tried to figure out if all the pieces are there, there and I think they are. It's just missing the instructions, but I looked it up on YouTube. I looked up a review and it's pretty straightforward. It's a good night, good night construction site game, board game. I will not open it, but this is basically what it looks like. I'm trying to hold it so that my ring light reflection is not messing with it. And the reason I picked this up is that um, my kid really likes that book and we love reading it. So I figured if I can get him to play a board game with me, which so far we're not very successful at, that would be lovely. So no idea what this goes for. It's not for sale. <laughs> um, the board is in there and it's definitely scratched up on the bottom, but I think it's going to be fine. I'll wipe it down. I'll sanitize it. And yeah, might be a Christmas present or you might get it sooner than that and we'll try and play it. So that was fun. I didn't pick up any shoes this time. The two pairs that I had, I tossed back because the, the J slides that you may have seen in the Thrift With Me portion, I decided I just didn't want to put in the time to clean them. And then the Vans had some issues on the insole. They were just looking a little bit yucky and I was like, you know what? No, no, easy peasy is what we're going to do now. All right, um, this was weird this time around with the bins. I feel like I usually find a whole bunch of brands, just like lots and lots of it in the bins, like American Eagle, J. Jill, sometimes some soft surroundings. I usually find a ton of Fashion Nova, which again, not everybody picks it up, I usually do. Um, I only found one pair of American Eagle jeans, which was really weird, but this is the newer label. I think these are from 2018. And these are the Kick Boot, which I've never picked up before, but since Boot Cut is supposedly coming back, I figured why not and they're like a medium dog wash denim and they're a long size i believe they are a size eight long which is also always nice with american eagle it's kind of tricky to list on poshmark but um, usually those do well they do have some wear on the hem here but overall good condition so 
happy with this purchase. And then another American Eagle piece. Normally I only pick up jeans by American Eagle. Oh, but this time I couldn't resist this jumpsuit. Again, American Eagle up here. It's a size medium. And which is the front? That's the front. It has these uh, hook closures in the front. It does have the belt attached, kind of like a short sleeve. A little bit flutter sleeve, very lightweight. Full length jumpsuit with this floral pattern. It's really cute. It's hard to show. I'll put it on my mannequin. It's probably gonna look somewhat decent. Again, size medium. Super, super cute. Uh, that was one of the first items I picked up and I was like, yeah, let me just toss it in the card. I might change my mind later, but because it was such slim pickings this time around, um, I decided to take it. Okay, I think I picked up two or three Columbia items, um, including my son's little vest there. These are just some shorts in a size 38W and they're a uh, 10 inch length Columbia short. I'm gonna say these are men's, <laughs> even though it doesn't really matter. I mean, just wear whatever you wanna wear, but it's what they look like. They're not a PFG or anything, uh, I think. No, these ones don't, well, hold on. I think they have some sort of style name, but anyway, I'll figure it out. And if not, I mean, Columbia always sells for me eventually. I have had very few pieces that wouldn't sell and that are currently sitting at the real real. Um, this is also Columbia size 1X Omni Shield Advanced Repellency. And these are also some like slightly longer Bermuda, maybe Capri even shorts. And they're plus size and they're lightweight and they're nice. So I figured these would probably do well. It's just nylon and elastane, elastane pull on shorts. They look comfy. Okay. Boring in the front. You can maybe see a little, little doggy there. I cannot see what you can see because I'm literally covering my camera with this. But it is a Victoria's Secret pink, shiny, sequiny, gold and silver shirt. Um, the sequins, they seem to be all working, as in you can get them all in one direction and they're gold and then I guess in the other direction they're silver. I, you can probably literally not tell the difference but I can. Anyway, um, has a little bit gold and silver on the sleeves which is a little bit worn but overall this is just a, a good broken in little lightweight sweatshirt. This one I was gonna toss back but then I figured nah if nothing else I'll take it to buy sell trade or send it to thread up. Um, brand is not super exciting it's just Bebop but it's Bebop that's new with tags. And it only retails for 40 bucks. I think it's sold at Kohl's or something. Macy's actually. But it's a cute style. It's like a lightweight pull-on pant with this little bit of a tie accent. Striped in this neutral color pattern. What are you made of? It's polyester and spandex, so not super exciting. But why not? They're kind of cute. What are these? A medium? They're large, so. Also not bad. A little bit tapered leg. No attack stuff. I can always sell to or send to thread up or sell to buy sell trade, which I never go there, but I could if I wanted to, okay? Um, this one's also not super high retail, but it's plus size and it's cute. Uh, it's sold at Sears. Does Sears still exist? I don't even know. Um, and the brand is simply Emma. It's a 1X. Yes, 1X, and this one does have the slip. And honestly, this is such a cute summer white beachy dress. It has this whole crochet situation. It's a high-low, and like I said, it does have the slip dress. Oh, can't reach that high, but super cute. Um, might even wear that myself. Did I just see a stain? Gosh darn it. Okay, I just found a stain that I can treat. It's all going to be fine. <laughs> But yeah, it basically looks like a curtain, but a cute curtain. <laughs> Way to sell it, Veronica. Okay, I'm trying to take note of where the stains are so I can stain treat it. Guess you're gonna hang out with the white anthropology dress. Gosh darn it. Okay, I found two torrid pieces, but one was kind of like beyond repair. It had horrible pit stains. It was cute, I would've picked it up, but it's also white. Um, this one, size three, so three X for torrid. <sighs> I keep forgetting how to arrange this. Okay, here we go. It's not that complicated, Veronica. So it's a sheer little tunic top with a floral pattern. Obviously you wanna wear some sort of cami underneath. 
I'm assuming. But yeah, Torrid is still my number one bread and butter, I assume. I haven't checked lately. I haven't really picked up Torrid much lately because my honey hole marks it up. Um, I don't really find it much at the other thrift stores. And yeah, bins have not been my friend either. Um, this is also Nuba Tags, and I think it's just a boutique brand. I have no idea what this retails for, but it's Belle Pogue. Can you even see that? I don't even know. Um, but it's a little like bolero jacket and it's an extra large. It's red. It has a little bit of ruffle on the sleeves. This could be cute for Christmas, New Year's, Valentine's Day. Who knows? Nubitex. Why not? I think the rest of um, that I have in here is all Nubitex because I didn't wash it, obviously. I got a pair of Billabong shorts with a... I don't know what that pattern is. It's like leaves and stuff. Ah, anyway. Summer board shorts, men's size 40. Uh, recycler, so I guess they're made out of recycled materials, maybe? Don't know. Recycler Sundays Pro. No idea. Anyway, new tags. No idea what these uh, retail for, but I'm sure they'll do just fine. Okay, um, more new tags. Nordstrom brand Sejour. I believe it's just a plus size brand because every time I find it, I find plus size items. This is the Curvy Fit 16W pair of dress pants, which is the least exciting thing to list in the world. But I'll list them, uh, and if they don't sell, I might just send them to thread up. I didn't think they had a price on there, did they? No. They retail in like the $60, $70 range, maybe? I don't know. Maybe more. Um, this one does not retail high, but it was also new with tags, and it's plus size. So we got more Forever 21 Plus. This is a 2X. Retails for $25. Bucks. But it's a cute little black dress, semi-sheer with the sleeves. Is this lined? The bottom is lined. So again, wear with the slip or cami. Slight balloon sleeves. And then just flares out at the bottom. It's cute. Uh, it's like a semi-open back. Yeah, like a large keyhole situation. Hi. Um, yeah. Again, holidays, Valentine's Day. Who knows? Okay, I'm getting real tired, you guys. I apologize if I'm losing personality by the second. Um, this one's not Nubitex, but it looks like it could be Nubitex. It's just a Victoria's Secret bikini bottom. I didn't... Um, bikini top. I couldn't find the bottoms, but also bikini bottoms from the bins. Unless they knew with tags, it's a little tricky. It's a 36C and it's just a little halter, blue halter situation. Probably not gonna sell right now. Good stable piece if you like to mix and match. And last item, thank God. Also a brand I don't normally pick up, but here's new tags. Um, Croft and Barrow, it's an extra, extra large men's Hawaiian shirt. This is sold at Kohl's. It retails for 36 bucks. If I can get 20, 18 to 20 bucks for it, why not? Has this whole Hawaiian print going on. I've never sold Hawaiian shirts. And I mean, again, this is a Hawaiian shirt from Kohl's, but some dude out there is gonna love this. Uh, it's kind of like a orangey color and I'm seeing spots on it because I keep looking at my ring light. So that's my cue to <laughs> wrap things up, pack these back up and get them steamed tomorrow once I get my new steamer and then get them listed soon because uh, the holidays are coming, the move is coming and I need to get stuff out of the house again. <laughs> um, as you've seen in my whole closet clean out, sending item to, items to thread up and running basically a fire sale in my closet uh, video and the plane Veronica. I hope you guys had fun today. I am getting really, really tired. I think it's like 1030. So again, apologies if I was uh, dragging this out a little bit towards the end. I hope you enjoyed the haul and the thrift with me. If you saw anything, or, as always, that you liked and would like to maybe snatch up before I list it on Poshmark and eBay and Macari, do let me know. You can contact me on Instagram. My business email is also down below. So there's various ways to get in touch and reach out. And if we can come to an agreement, I can just invoice you through PayPal and then I don't have to pay horrendous fees and you'll just get it chipped at a probably much better price than you would on any of my reseller platforms. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Thanks so much for continuing to support Vlogmas. I appreciate you. Leave me a comment down below. Again, check in, uh, say hi. And if you're not subscribed yet, do that as well. And don't forget, hit the thumbs up button for your girl. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. And until then, Tschüss!